Tonight, we're learning more about the future of the Bull Street District in Columbia. Bull Street has been the longtime home of several state agencies, but now some of them could even be moving outside of the capital city. WIS reporter Ashley Jones has a look at what's next for the area. A study presented to lawmakers Tuesday recommends most state agencies on Bull Street move to new homes. That includes the Department of Mental Health and DHEC, which is splitting into two new agencies next year. A temporary law in this year's budget called for a study on whether the state agencies located on Bull Street should stay there or move to another location in the Midlands. The Department of Administration presented its findings to the Joint Bond Review Committee, or JBRC, Tuesday afternoon. There is um, more of a need for, for those health care agencies to work together. And locating DPH, DMH, and DDSN together in one facility seemed to make sense, a health care campus. The plan that lawmakers on the Joint Bond Review Committee approved will move the new Department of Public Health along with the DMH the Department of Disabilities and Special Needs and the Department of Alcohol and Other Drug Abuse Services to a new healthcare campus outside of Columbia in Casey. The other new agency to result from DHEC split, Department of Environmental Services, will move to its own campus on Colonial Life Boulevard. The Department of Administration conducted the study at lawmakers' direction. It found the Department of Social Services, the remaining state agency on Bull Street, would not fit on the proposed healthcare campus. Obviously, you hate to lose uh, employees that are here nine to five, you know, every day. But at the same time, it's also an opportunity for us to look as a city as what else can be done there. Is this an opportunity to create a new neighborhood? Could this be extension of the Bull Street growth that we're seeing now? But that expansion will come at a cost to taxpayers. The estimated cost for this move over the span of 20 years is well over $300 million, more than what it would cost to keep those offices on Bull Street. Representative Gilda Cobb Hunter had concerns over that price tag. This is a pretty significant amount of money to be used to rent office space. I'm a firm believer that the state ought not be a renter, but own properties. Uh, but aside from that... At the same time, the state is, is consolidating getting rid of property because they don't have the money to maintain it. So it's kind of either or, but also see that as a benefit to the communities because with so many state agencies, 34% of all the property in Columbia doesn't pay taxes. So every piece that comes back on lowers that number. So there's an advantage and a disadvantage, I guess you could say. It's unclear what will come of the property that currently holds those state agencies, but Mayor Rickerman has been vocal about adding housing options to that area. Reporting in Columbia, I'm Ashley Jones, WIS News 10. And lawmakers still have to allocate money in the next state budget to ensure that move happens. The lease for the new properties will go into effect on July 1st of 2024. The Department of Administration will still need to find a new location for the DSS building.